These are super fresh, they're Ooh. piping hot. It's actually like almost burning my hand. What's going on guys? Welcome to the second city on our Texas city tour, Austin, Texas. This place of any city in Texas is known for its food scene. Yo Jack, you have spent a lot of time in Austin? A lot of time. I mean, honestly, I've seen it change. It, a lot of tech has moved in here. A lot of wealthier people have moved in. So, you know, the, the, the standard is raising. All right, well, we gotta figure out because we are going on a Texas food tour, meaning we are eating some of the best barbecue. We are gonna be eating some of the best fried chicken. We are eating the best burgers from Austin. And then we're gonna be eating the best Tex-Mex breakfast tacos. All right, you guys, we have arrived at Micklewaite Craft Meats. Um, a little bit of a different thing going. I will say, we read a lot of articles, and this spot always shows up in your top 10 list of barbecue spots. No Actually, way. top no five. Way. And, and it's top five for no weight. They say it's the best value considering the weight. Yeah, you can go to Franklin's, but you're waiting like three to five hours. Listen, this spot is award winning in its own route, okay? We're about to find out. Quick take. Is Austin the center of barbecue for Texas, would you say? Now, now like per capita, I think the more higher ranking barbecues are all coming out of Austin. If you look at the Texas Monthly Top 10, most of the, all of those are in, based in Austin. It's awesome, man. They're coming out of Austin. Dude, thank you. I'm looking forward to it. All right, enjoy. Thank you. So they ran out of like their goat and their pork shoulder, which would have been cool to get, but it's all good, you know, we really gotta focus on the brisket. The brisket. The brisket. All about the, the brisket. We gotta worry about the brizzy. Hey, we were filming a YouTube video about uh, Texas barbecue. I wanna know if I could just talk to you for a second. Sure. Dude, what made you guys wanna come to Mickleway versus the other barbecue spots? You know, we were actually just down the street for Frank. the Franklin's, yeah. and then you saw, I don't know if you saw the line there. Line looked crazy already. Yeah, yeah it was like about a three hour wait. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was interesting to see other Asian people here. So I thought it was funny. Because <laughs> yeah. we went by, by Franklin's, uh -huh. there wasn't that many Asian people waiting in line. Yeah. Because I think Asian people, we don't want to wait. <laughs> so, hey, well, hey, Asian people love Mickle weight. Of course. Cosign. All right, you guys, the food here at Micklewaite has arrived. We got a lot of stuff to eat today. We have a lot, a lot. to eat today, all right? So we're, we're tasting it. So what we have here is the brisket. Apparently, guys, there are two different types of brisket. One's lean, one's moist, and what is it? Jack, you were saying it's like a bad cut of meat I, in a way? I, I heard it's supposed to be a really tough, hard piece of meat, mm. and through slow cooking, it softens and looks like this after. This is beef brisket. Wow, mm. smoky, fatty. That was gotta be the smokiest piece of brisket I've ever had. They definitely cooked it really slow. They, it seems like they put a lot of time into it. But you guys, we are trying Central Style Texas Barbecue, the pork rib. Oh, mm. super smoky. Mm. That might have been the best barbecue pork rib I've ever had. Wow. Mm. Mm. To be right. fair, it was really good. I don't eat this very often though. No. Let's just say I've had more Shaolin Bao's in my life than I've had. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, the other thing, popular thing here is the, the Czech Tex style sausage. You mean as in Czechoslovakia? <laughs> what does that mean exactly? What comes to mind when you think of Czech? Not Texas. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> I've never had something like that. Barbecue chicken. Low and slow. That skin was crisp, crispier than I thought. So for that being white meat. Yeah, that was really good. Really flavorful. Favorite meat so far? I gotta go with the pork rib. I'm going with the rib too. I'm actually still gonna roll with the brisket. This other thing here that they that I'm sure they don't have at every other barbecue spot is this Frito pie. The Frito chips, okay? And then you have chili cheese, jalapeno, sour cream. It's pretty much like nachos with a slice of brisket on top. Yo, you know where they were always eating Frito pies was in King of the Hill. Hi, Mrs. Holloway. Want some cold Frito pie? Yo, have you oh. ever had a Frito pie? No, I've never had a Frito pie. This is pie. actually my first Frito pie ever. Have you? I, I just heard about it in culture, but I don't know. I, I think I had it, to be honest, like somebody's mom cooked it before. <laughs> oh, really? It. In Kent? Yeah, like at one oh. of those like potluck things, you know? Well, I'll tell you this, they weren't Asian, okay? <laughs> Yo, I don't can know. We make this, Asian can person. we make this Asian? Texas brisket Frito pie. I, I want to say it's a lot richer than nachos. No, nah, it don't taste like nachos fully. The combination of 
all those flavors, I think it went well together. Yeah. Mm. Hold up, guys. I'm gonna try something crazy. Put in a sandwich. Yeah. Oh, you gonna throw the mac and cheese in there? No, you're not gonna throw the mac and cheese in there. <laughs> Say I won't. <laughs> Say I won't. Oh. If you guys know Andrew, Andrew's been doing this since he's about six years old. <laughs> Yo, how are the sides, guys? Have... Let's all taste the side real quick. Mac and cheese first, all right? Mac and cheese, I they thought got... I thought the mac and cheese could have had a little bit more cheese flavor. The cheesy grits, that is good. Go Jalapeno with, with cheese, must be good. I'm going with the beans, the beans. The beans are actually kind of good. And last but not the least, guys, they got really the good. lemon poppy coleslaw. Yep, stop. Um, they put kale in their coleslaw? No. Kale in their coleslaw, I've never I seen guys, that Guys, I don't want to be all California with it, but coleslaw with the kale was mm. nice. I did see one review from like a Texas person going, man, this is, uh, this ain't Texas barbecue, this is more like for San Francisco tech hipsters. Mm. <laughs> I saw that on the Yelp review. All right, guys, I, I don't want to sit here and pretend like I have the best sensor for like Texas barbecue. What? <laughs> <laughs> I just like what I like. Overall, that, that, that pork rib was fire. Yeah. It was super fire. That was the best pork rib I've ever had. Man, it was a great introduction. And you know, it goes to show you that you know, just being in Central Texas was a dope cultural experience. And also, you know, a lot of Asian people here. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yo, I'm, let's, just say let's just funny. say this. Let's just say this. Let's just say this. You guys. Is that funny? That's funny. If you're not trying to spend your whole day waiting at a ultra famous barbecue spot, I do th recommend Mikaweight as a great alternative option. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Our next spot is Gus's world famous fried chicken. Ooh. Let's go. Yo, you guys, we have arrived at Gus's Fried Chicken. You guys, this is the most reviewed spot in all of Austin. That is crazy. All all they say this is the best fried chicken in in Austin. This, this is it. Hey, I'll tell you this. There's something about the chickens here in Austin that have been really good. Yeah. Gus's Fried Chicken, let's, let's go. go. Do you guys have fried chicken like that in where you're from? Uh, Britain, England. Uh, not as good as this, no. We've got, we've got KFC. It's yeah. not quite the same. <laughs> guys, a huge plate of Gus's fried chicken has just hit our table. We got three of each piece. You starting with the breast. Breast, then we're gonna move to the thighs, then we're gonna go to the drums, and then the wings. The Dude, wings. these are super fresh, they're Woo! piping hot. It's actually like almost burning my hand to even touch them. You guys, this chicken has never been frozen and it's cooked in peanut oil. So mm. yeah, I believe that's different. Mmm, my gosh. Do you see this? Andrew, I know you like yourself a good juicy breast. Oh, man. I think the breast is the best way to judge it. Dude, thighs are always good, man. Thighs are the best. But when they do a good breast, that's when you know it's good. Hey, it's, so it's spilling some juice, but it's not overly juicy. Fire or not? Ooh. Yo, <coughs> I got that little chili kick. It's a bit spicy. Is it crazy to say? That I can taste the peanut oil. Like it's a little nutty. I don't know what to say. Texture wise, like catfish. Yo, the crunch is like lechon. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is steaming, bro. Yo, guys, I don't I don't want to be the one to say this, but it kind of tastes Asian. <laughs> like, I'm getting like a sesame flavor from it, and it might be from the peanut oil. The breast was crazy juicy. It was fresh. I have no complaints. Mm -hmm. I'm moving on to the thigh, guys. For me, this next thigh piece. I'm gonna hit it with a little hot sauce. sauce. A little what hot is, sauce. What, is, what kind of sauce is this right here? Louisiana hot sauce right there. Yes. Ketchup right here. Boom. Just a little bit. The thigh here at Gus's. You get close to it. It's the fire. Some of the best chicken I've ever had. Look at this texture. Tender. What, what, what's different about it, David? What are you tasting? It tastes like chicken. Texture. But the tenderness of fish. Tenderness. The juiciness of fish. All right. My Trump's favorite, my personal favorite, favorite piece. piece. This is personally okay. my favorite piece. Oh my god. Wow. Good fire. I will say so. That bite was crazy. Perfectly cooked. It's not overflowingly juicy. You know, sometimes I've gotten fried chicken that was really fresh and then you bite into it and the juice just squirts out. I don't know if we're topping that, bro. I don't know. Wing time, baby. That was a delicious little bite, but that's all the meat you get right there. That's it. I ate it in one swoop. Wow. Man, the wing has got to be up there too. Oh my gosh. This is the most reviewed spot in Austin. So I'm kind of wondering, I was like, okay, is it overrated? I don't think it's overrated. It's not personally, overrated. Personally, I don't. 
It is now overrated. Uh, Gus is worth the hype. Five out of five for me, man. Gus is five out of five. Boom. Man. All right, I'm, I'm super excited to move on to the next spot, guys. Mm. All right, you guys, make sure you like this video. Uh, I always say that going on food tours is a great way to explore the city. Hey, you guys, next up, I hope you guys save some room because we are going to Jack's favorite burger spot in the world. Next stop is Hop Dotties. That's an Austin original. All right, Jack. Up. We have arrived. You gotta let us know, man. We have you arrived. Have been talking about this spot since we got to Texas. Dotties from Austin. Is from and, Austin. And it is going national, right? And now. it's going national, it's going and national. you love it. This is your favorite burger spot in the entire country. It's kind of like pokey where each ingredient comes together. It's so good. It does look like a Shake Shack. It does look <laughs> It does look like a Shake Shack. <laughs> but it does I'm ready. Like Shake Shack. Alright, Hop Dotty versus Shake Shack. Let's go. Let's go to Hop Dotty. Yo, Jack, what are you talking about? You, did, you said this at the beginning of the experience. It's like Parmesan, truffle fries, the sauce is truffle. All right, I'm in. It's a little bougie, but it's good. Oh, this is in the real sugar ketchup. You know what, Andrew, I feel like this spot is for people who identify as elevated Americans. Yeah. Because that's this is what this food is, is elevated American food. This whole kind of tour that we've been on so far, has been eating high level, top level American food. Whether it's barbecue brisket, it was uh, fried chicken. Now we're eating burgers, but this is obviously not your average burger spot. We're here to find out why they started in Austin or Texas. This, I'll tell you this, Shake Shack does not have anything this inventive. Dude, this ahi tuna burger has um, the fried nori. It has the ginger in it. Tempura nori. Tempura nori, Tempura -nori. point. No, this has some crazy elements I've never had in the same before. All right, guys, ahi tuna at Hop Dottie. It tastes like sushi. Wow. A little ginger, a uh, little wasabi, wasabi. aioli. Of the ahi tuna sandwiches I've had, oh, that, was, that ranks up there. Oh. That's like top two. Okay, so this is the prime time. This is their like signature, the main regular sandwich this, you gotta get. Yo, Jack, is this normally what you get here? This is normally what I get. You got the prime time. You got the prime time. Right. The ground beef is ground a little bit more fine. Oh man, that's so good. Right, I think we go on the bison. Oh, oh look at this. This looks like a pie. It's beautiful. Look, I, I gotta give it to them. The presentation is crazy. I don't know why, but I feel stronger after eating that. Ah. You know, bison tastes meatier than beef. That's not a beta. That's not a beta protein. That's an alpha no. protein. It's alpha. <laughs> it's hitting the bloodstream. I oh. feel it. We're hitting the gym tonight. I feel different after eating bison. Ah. Ah. <laughs> this is the double jam with the double dude, patty. Dude, would you guys agree that every single burger we tried really had a whole different complexion? Yeah. yeah. They both, they all taste unique. I, I believe this actually has what, like jam? It has jam. It has jam. Bacon jam. Bacon jam. Mmm. I dipped it in the ranch. Mmm. This did taste like the better version of something you had at Burger King. The other burgers, I think people who are just into their burgers, they might not feel as much, but that one. We gotta finish off with the milkshake. It's a strawberry shortbread milkshake. It was, yo, I will say this, Hop Dottie is kind of lit. Like, you can put booze in all your milkshakes. They didn't ask, they didn't, uh, ask for ID or anything. This <laughs> guy. All right, all right, it's good, it's good. It tastes like strawberry. Damn. Where you go? It tastes like that ice cream bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know why you say it's better than Shake Shack. Uh... But it's better than Shake Shack, in my opinion. <laughs> I like it better because I don't even eat Shake Shack. There was a time. Oh when Shake Shack was king. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. And now, it's Hop Dottie's time. Whoa! That's how I say it. That's how I say it. It hits a home run every Real single quick. time. What is your favorite burger here? The El Diablo with avocado. Oh, we have, hey guys, on this crazy Texas tour, we got one more spot to hit up, because we got to get breakfast tacos. All right, you guys, we have arrived at our last and final, but not least spot on our Austin food tour. Yes. 
Torchies tacos. Torchies. Yo, tacos. I'm not gonna lie. Is Clearly. It is it? It is. It's Tuesday. It is, it is Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> I gotta finish it. It's Taco Tuesday. You guys, Let's go get torched, baby. <laughs> Damn. Skirt. Torched. Last and not least, you guys, we have breakfast tacos here at Torchies Tacos. Let's go. Okay, we got our tacos. It's sort of like their own reimagining of Tech Mex, right? Yeah, basically. Oh. So, what do you what do you guys look at? I mean, this is a, like a, a whole omelet breakfast omelet on in a taco. Doug, this ain't even a taco. What is this? This one's crazy. All right, everybody, we're just gonna pick a taco. How do you guys like to sauce your tacos? I'm a big fan yeah, I'm gonna of, of, of green sauce. Oh. Guys, let's go in on these breakfast tacos. Austin's famous for them. It's almost like a new way to eat your favorite Tex-Mex foods by just putting it in a tortilla. I love the egg though. The way the egg is cooked, it's fluffy. All right, man, which one do you guys want to go in on? I was looking at the Baja shrimp, oh, man. Oh, man, that was a good one. Jack, go for it. Salmon? You want you giving me the salmon? <laughs> I'm going to go off the secret menu because I want to know what the workers were eating. Yeah, no, this looks like... <laughs> man, this looks like it has chashu in it. Well, well look, you can eat that in a, for a whole week. There was a ton of shrimp in that. I can't say that was my favorite. For sure it wasn't, but it wasn't bad either. You don't need that. that is jam packed, man. I don't know what this worker looked like, but man, he <laughs> made that thing. I like the avocado in that salmon. Viking salmon, a bit spicy. It was good. Uh, I'm, I'm, let me give me the chili con queso, okay? Give me the chili. I think they're known for their queso, actually. The only time I've ever been to Torchies, I only had queso. I never actually had the tacos. I would pay peso, many pesos for this queso. Queso is fire. Queso. Right, let me try the Democrat. I gotta try the Democrat. They did run out of barbacoa today at the barbecue spot, yeah. so I'm getting it right fine. now. It's pretty good. Oh, we haven't had this. Guys, this is, David, guess what this is? You don't know what this is. It like it's a fried ball of chocolate chip cookie dough. No. <laughs> Take one, say no more, say no more. All right, guys. This is fried cookie Lord. dough. Oh man, this is gonna give me a heart attack. That's actually just rolled in cornflakes and then fried. So it's extra crispy on the outside and semi-cooked on the inside. All right, you guys, I mean, we are at the end of our Austin tour. We've had so many things that I've never had today. I know we went to a lot of big chain restaurants today. So you're like, oh, you guys didn't hit up the hole in the wall spots. But this really gave you a taste of like the common food that's in Austin, you know? Like these are all spots that are packed during lunchtime. That's how you know it's a staple. Nothing is like the authenticity of Texas. All right, everybody, that wraps up our Austin food tour. Um, we have so many more spots to hit up, but we gotta move on to Dallas. So hit the like button, subscribe to this video, check out Jack's links down below. Um, man, glad we can make this trip. And guys, in the comments below, let us know if there's any other cities that we should go visit because we are on a tour to explore culture through food. And let us know if there's any interesting restaurants in those cities too. I wanna know the specific names. Um, so far, I gotta say, Texas has not disappointed. Texas has not disappointed. I'm glad we so, came, guys. Thank you, Jack. Yeah, thank man. you for rolling with us on this trip. And guys, until next time, we're out. Peace.